Hey gang, I thought I'd check in here. Uh, welcome back to the big board, etc. etc. Playing uh, table battles and uh, using this lovely little two page rule book that came in C3R number 32. And <clears throat> I'm sure it'll be available somewhere online at some point for everybody else. But a uh, very nice, concise set of rules. Same as the rule book per se, but just, uh, you know, in two pages, which is cool. Uh, kind of a small font, but it all works. Look, I'm playing the Battle of Chonaria, or Chonaria, depending on Chona, whatever. You can read it. <laughs> and uh, so I'm not terribly experienced with this game. And it's uh, it's really interesting. And I'm, I'm double-checking my rules uh, as I play. But... Just for a little recap and, and a little insight into some of the depth of the game that goes on here, uh, some of your choice making that you're going to need to do as a you know an, a, when you're playing opposed in particular. So up on the far uh, left of the uh, Macedonian line, of course, you have Alexander, and he uh, recently rolled, or well, we rolled double sixes, and so we put both of those sixes on him uh, because that will allow him to screen and he can protect, he can screen against the sacred band, the Thebans and the allies, which means that he can uh, influence, I believe, this left flank here, this left phalanx here. And so what that means is for the sacred band who has taken a, a step loss, here's his uh, other strength point, if he wanted to do something brave and noble and go sacrifice himself, for instance, and maybe attack the left phalanx, uh, these Alexander here could screen him off, right? And let me just check. Yeah, it says right here, uh, this cancels an attack from an enemy formation, which is listed as the target of the screen. Unlike with an attack, all listed targets may be screened, regardless of their status. While both sides expend their dice, neither side suffers any losses. So I would force a spend here to no result, which would then leave the sacred band in a situation where, depending on how the die rolling went, uh, they might be attacked and not be able to do anything uh, in the next turn. Uh, which also then opens up questions about, well, what should I really be trying to do with the Thebans? And should I be trying to allocate dice to the Thebans? and give them two dice, and, and hopefully they'll get a pair of dice, and hopefully they'll be able to do some counterattacking, which would thwart Alexander and perhaps save the Sacred Band. So even just with this very simple set of mechanics where each side gets one action in a turn, and if there is a reaction, you lose your ability to have an action in that given turn. So that can be very impactful in terms of your choices about who is going to attack, when they're going to attack, and who, and who do you attack, right? Yeah, it's kind of full information on the board here. You can see uh, what dice each side has and make decisions based on that. So clearly down here, the Athenian left, they can't offer any screening protection to this now very weakened They've lost three of their four very weakened allies unit because they don't have a pair, right? Uh, so that's a bad thing. Um, so these allies now, what should they do? Should they try and go for a, a quick win here and try and kill uh, Philip's hippocysts? Don't know. Should they knuckle down and, and knock it, try and weaken the right right phalanx so that the Athenian left can attack in the next turn and, and, and impose two hits and of course lose a hit itself but nevertheless I thought I'd share this with you because uh, it's it's a fun fast playing I can set it up in my hotel room uh, there's dozens of scenarios this is the expansion pack from Hollenspiel uh, that uh, has all the Alexandrian uh, battles in it so it's pretty Pretty nifty and I just bring the core system dice and blocks along and uh, I can set it up in here and I need one piece of paper for rules 
and we can kind of go at it from there. So, all right, thought I'd just share that with you a little bit, and we'll talk to you soon. Hope you're all having a great day, and this is what I'm looking at. Lots of snow up in Boulder, Colorado. Take care.